Hey, what's up guys? It's Bass Jax. I'm hanging out in the garage in my little biker's corner that I made over here. I wanted to show you guys the Carbon Bell Bullet. I've had it for almost six months now. Bell was nice enough to hook me up with it when it first released. I love the helmet. Carbon and light helmets are important for me because I have some uh, neck issues from previous accidents in the past. So having a light, comfortable helmet is very important to me. And I know in the price range of the Bell Bullet, you're looking at retail of $600. You know, it's a hefty price to pay for a helmet, and it's definitely a hefty price to pay for a helmet that you haven't really seen or got a full breakdown on. So I'm gonna take the time to show you guys the Carbon Bell Bullet and take the time to tell you what I think about it and tell you what it comes with. So here we go, we'll hop right in. Um, the first thing that I have to say about Bell that I find to be a little impressive, they even do it on some of their uh, less expensive helmets, but is the bag. The, uh, they give, actually give you a real like bowling ball style helmet bag. And uh, it's really, really, really great quality. It's very nice to protect your helmet. You know, when you invest, you know, 600, 500, 400, 350 bucks on a helmet, you wanna make sure that it's protected, especially if you're gonna be like taking it anywhere, you know, if you go to the track or whatever the case may be, whatever helmet you have, the bag is important to me. So I thought that it was a win that Bell took the time and the effort to make a legitimate bag. So even looking on the inside of the bag, it's super nice. It has that microfiber type of material. So we'll hop right in and we'll pull the helmet out and I'll tell you a little bit about it. All right, so we'll pull it out and I'll show you guys the helmet. So this is the Roland Sands Carbon Bullet that was released for 2020 model year. And uh, it is a gorgeous helmet, first off, I have to say. It is beautiful. Get it up there so you guys can see that carbon, that real just awesome, awesome shape to the helmet, that vintage old school shape, that beautiful laid carbon, and awesome paint job. You know, your gold trim, gold, and your brown leatherette type material. As you can see, it's got a little wear already. I've been wearing it and um, I love it. I mean, out of all the helmets that I have, this is, this is by far my favorite. And um, I have to say now, riding it, riding it for almost six months, um, my first impressions were not that case. So when I pulled the helmet out of the box initially, I love the weight. It, it weighs just under three pounds, which is incredible, like truly incredible. When I, was, when I first started wearing it, I wasn't in love with it. You know, I thought it was a little noisy fit, wasn't the greatest, but I later realized that the helmet was being noisy because of the positioning of the fairing on my motorcycle. So once I, I rocked my fairing a little further forward, kind of eliminated some of, that, some of that buffeting from my fairing, it eliminated almost all of that extra noise that I was getting that I thought was the helmet. So I blamed the helmet and it wasn't the helmet at all. Um, now it's super quiet, it's great, and, um, and it fits well. Um, so I have to say, you know, it comes with your standard cheek pads. I have them around here somewhere. Okay, so it comes with, uh, with some 30 millimeter cheek pads, which is awesome. You can change your cheek pads. They have a ton of different sizes. So it came with these uh, 30 millimeter cheek pads. Um, I'm a thin guy, you know, and uh, so the helmet was a little, you know, a little loose around my face and that was some of the comfort issues that I had in the beginning as well. And they come out really easy. They just snap right out just like any other helmet. I bought the uh, 45 millimeter cheek pad. So going from 30 to 45 millimeters, you can clearly see um, the difference in width there. And that made all the difference in the world to me. So that's important to me that you're, that you're able to change the cheek pads. Um, like that and the interior of the helmet is really great looking really great looking interior really really comfortable all right so we have this um, we have this little intake vent right here I would say I wouldn't say it's very functional I'd say it's more for looks in my personal opinion because the helmet doesn't have a chin curtain so you get a lot of wind from under the chin area um, you can it does you can actually block it and turn it on right there. Um, I never mess with it because like I said, I kind of think it's a non-functional part of the helmet. We also have four intake vents right here um, on your forehead. 
Um, they are not closable. So, you know, rain riding and stuff like that. I mean, I really don't see too, uh, too much rain getting inside the helmet just because of the EPS and the liner is uh, pretty thick in there. And uh, it, do it doesn't appear to go all the way through even when you feel it. It kind of just probably runs the length of the EPS to kind of cool the helmet down. Uh, and you have your exhaust right here um, out the back. So it has this awesome, beautiful matte stripe on the top of it on the RSD version. And like I said, it has the gold accents as well. Um, and that leatherette interior, which is super nice. And it is microfiber as well. So you can just yank this stuff out, um, yank it all out and you can wash it, which is super cool. Um, it's got a nice little, this is where I hold it at. It's got a nice little helmet hold right here. It's, it is really comfortable and it is really light. And I would recommend this helmet um, for anyone out there that struggles with some neck issues, some neck fatigue from longer rides, because this helmet is like wearing a hat, man. I mean, it is great. I can wear this helmet all day long. About a month ago, I went on a, on a ride with a few of my buddies to Tallahassee and the surrounding areas. We were out for about seven hours. So I had this helmet on for seven hours and I had no neck pain and no, no fatigue from wearing the helmet at all. And that is a rare, rare thing for me. Um, so, I mean, I am totally sold on this helmet. And like I said, my first impressions of the helmet were kind of sour because I didn't feel like it was very comfortable. Um, I felt like it was a little bit too loud. And for the money, you know, it was a little upsetting, but you know, later to find out that it was the fairing causing buffeting, um, which was corrected. And when I did the 45 millimeter cheek pads instead of the 30 millimeter cheek pads that the helmet came with, it made all the difference in the world because there's nothing worse than having a helmet that doesn't fit you properly. They run pretty true to size. I wear a medium in almost every helmet. I wear a medium in this helmet. It is kind of more of a round oval. I would say it's a little in between an intermediate, intermediate oval and a round oval, but it does fit really well. The helmet comes with two shields, so they give you this clear shield, and they also give you a dark smoke shield as well that you could throw on there, and it looks really great. Um, I run the clear most of the time because I, I catch myself getting caught at night, especially here in the panhandle of Florida here pretty soon, it'd be getting dark at 5.30, which is crazy and I can't stand it. But the quality of the helmet is great. I am a huge, huge supporter of Bell because Bell has saved my life before. This is a little embarrassing, but I have this Bell helmet and I went down pretty hard in this helmet. I actually was riding at night and a huge raccoon shot out in front of me and uh, it spooked me and um, I tried to avoid I ended up hitting the median and um, yeah, I went down hard, man, because of a raccoon. Yeah, I'm not afraid to admit it. You know, things happen, man. You know, even the best riders in the world make mistakes. I made a mistake. Uh, my reaction was off and I went down because of it. And uh, I hit my head hard and this helmet saved my life, man. I mean, it did. And uh, ever since then, I had no concussion, nothing. Um, this is a Harley Davidson co-branded Bell helmet, and uh, that is all that happened to the helmet is right there and some little damage on the top. But um, ever since then, I've been a huge fan of Bell because I know that the protection is there. Um, so we'll hop back on the bullet. All right, I'll show you guys how easy it is to get the shield off. Um, you can also wear the helmet without a shield at all and uh, wear a pair of sunglasses in the summer. Um, it still looks pretty cool. So, you know, it's got that old school, traditional style like helmet release um, with just a screwdriver and uh, two little bolts. My, my, com my only complaint with it is, is um, if you don't tighten it down correctly, um, it will loosen up as you, as you lift and drop the shield. It'll kind of loosen up. So just you know, make sure that you continue to check those and make sure they're tight. It does have a little magnet right here on the side that keeps your, um, your visor down. Also, when you're riding with your visor like half open, full open, um, it will stay half open. It does, it does lock really, really well. And the quality of the shields are nice as well. 
So I'll show you guys what it looks like with the dark smoke shield. I mean, it is really, really good looking with the dark shield on there. I mean, what a killer helmet. I mean, what a beautiful helmet. I cannot stress that enough, how much uh, Bell has nailed the, uh, the looks of these of these bullet helmets. So we'll lose that shield. Throw that behind me. And then, yeah, super good. I mean, I can't, I can't really stress enough how light this helmet is. Every time I get somebody to pick it up, it blows their minds and it fits really, really well. And uh, it has a nice, nice gasket. You know, it's not that like really junk, like rubber gasket that you see on a lot of helmets. It's actually a quality, kind of like composite feeling uh, gasket. It's a little tough. It's not like your traditional uh, rubber gasket. We also have this little leatherette piece right here for the shield. And um, these are your little mechanisms on the side. Now the helmet comes in three sizes. It's got three shell sizes. It has your antibacterial washable liner, like most helmets do, do nowadays. And I would highly recommend this helmet. I truly, truly would. And that is coming from someone, like I said, who was unsure about it when I first got it and have, have grown to love this helmet. So if you've been looking at a carbon bullet and you're a little weary about spending the money, I say save and go for it. It is DOT and ECE approved. The carbon that they used is fantastic. The helmet is quality, it's light, and it's a bell. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was a little helpful uh, breaking down the bell for you a little bit. Um, I love it. I think you would love it. I couldn't be happier. I would buy another one. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.